Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our kickers almost killed a kid. Gnarly. Well, Aylor Doll almost killed a kid. Thank you. But now they see a, a green dragonborn child laying unconscious on the ground. All of the shadows that were surrounding it before have gone. All of the dark energy that is surrounded has gone. And the eerie coldness that they felt before is no longer there. So we're no longer in initiative, right? Yeah. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to cast, or not cast, I'm going to use my channel divinity, turn undead, um, so that Aelrindel can approach within 30 feet, because I don't trust him okay. at all at this point. I'm just standing by the He has to make a wisdom throw, though. Wisdom save. Yeah, I'm with him by the entrance, too. Uh, I went back to, like, the tunnel entrance when, like, okay. the, we first got there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, uh, I switched, and I started, I went with him. I want to be as close I'm just, to like, him. having a mini, like, Blaze is having a mini self-rant, like, these guys are going to get you killed, surrounded yeah, by freaking just, idiots who can't even cooperate. Yeah. I'm just falling behind you. Yeah, be snack would be going to that main chamber too. Yeah. I'm falling blaze as well. I took my arrows in now. You guys are just leaving this kid here? <laughs> yep. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna take the kid and leave the depths on my own. <laughs> if you're leaving the depths, I'm going with you. I'm leaving I well, I can't we can't take this kid with us deeper into the depths. What do you wanna do? You wanna travel just back to Stillsby really quick? How far is it to Stillsby? It'd be a day's ride. A day's I'm cool ride. with that. <laughs> We have the, an important mission. He could send him with Beast Snack, probably. Oh, mm. that's a good idea. And, uh, Beast Snack doesn't want to be here anyway. No, all right. So I'll I'll call it to Beast Snack, and I'll say, "Hey, you you uh, would you mind taking this child back to his home and or back to back to Stillsby?" He looks kind of creeped out by the child, but he'll nod his head. Cool. And oh, he'll say that, he'll tell you guys that he will be staying in Stillsby after that then. If you guys ever want to go back to see him. Well, that's fine. It's always good to have a friend on the inside, Torian. Don't worry. I'll go with you. That's <laughs> protection. No, Faron. <laughs> You're not leaving. We need you. Fine. For some reason. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just keep reason. going then. Okay. They go uh, off. Be snack will give you a hug, they go off. and then I'll leave hug him back. Uh, actually, pff, uh, that was done with me. Uh, before they go, can I do an Arcana check on the kid to see what was up with him? Can I sure. loot the kid? Uh, I rolled a, a <laughs> ten. Uh, you believe that it was just a demonic possession? Just a demonic possession? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, since I'm the one who remembered where it was from, I tell B-Snack, uh, where to take the kid in still Okay. Because his I, parents are probably... Okay. Can I insight to see what kind of demon? I don't think... It's sure. The demon's gone. Yeah, demon disappeared. Uh, yeah, just insight, I guess. That's a... 16. 16? Oh, uh, just... Uh, but, uh... Yeah, so Blaze is pretty... Pretty annoyed with everyone at this point. He's always annoyed. Though. I know, but like more so than usual, because usually he's kind of goofy, but now he just won't talk to anyone. He's pretty pissed off about what happened, so, and he's not really trying to hide it. Nothing so. even happened. Well, no, it, it, I don't know. Yeah, just you know that he looks annoyed, so. Okay. Uh, you believe that he was possessed by a shadow demon, but that it was. that something else caused him to be possessed by this. Cool. All right. Gnarly. That Not doesn't bode well. <laughs> he didn't eat his greens. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time that kid's never. He's it's gonna skip on asparagus. It's <laughs> only kid tricks are for kids. <laughs> uh, right. So you guys have made it back to the central entranceway hall ish cavern. You guys are going west now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I guess so. Okay. So uh, as you approach this passageway, you hear a lot of sounds of, like, people or things and movement and stuff like that. And as you get closer, you see that it opens up to a very large cavern, which looks to be almost like a town or a village. And you see demon, like, some small demon folk and some small uh, devils and as well as some drow and deep gnomes and... Darrow, I think that's the yeah. Just walking around doing whatever they need to do. All right, well, that's uh, as far oh, as I know. Darrow, I know you. I know those, but probably Durger too, then, right? Yeah, Durger too. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of first. Oh well, Darrow's like a kind of similar to yeah. Durger. Durger. 
It's a Darrow. Ah, it's like another gnomish creature, underground gnomish creature. Well, pals, this is where I get off. (laughs) Um, You can go forward. I will approach a nearby villager. Uh, uh, Any certain type? uh, I'm going to go towards a deep gnome. Deep gnome? Okay. Uh, I, do I, oh, sorry, do I feel a need that I shouldn't? Uh, you feel like this is a pre- a pretty bad town and like kind of evil. Oh, so if I approach, they'll harm like, me. Non like human, non upper being, like above world being. <laughs> so if I approach, they'll harm me most likely. Most likely. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just assumed it was like okay. like yeah. usually when you run into a, a drow in the up top, it's like they're pretty chill. But Blaze wouldn't be that stupid. So. Well, what about Alarndel? He's like revenant. He can. He might have an in. I don't know. I, I I turn and I say, "Do you want to try talking to them? If anything goes south, we'll jump in and give you a hand." Uh, but we could use some sort of direction. We're trying to find any shard of clue about the Shardana. You see what I did there? Nice. With my words. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah. But yeah, if you could ask them around about the Shardana. Sure, can. I'll walk up. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there like a? Who's the who's closest to me? Is there like a deep gnome or something? Uh, you do see a uh, drow. Uh, what is he, what is the drow doing? Uh, he's just like walking from one place, and you assume going to like his business or home or something like that. I uh, I walk up to him and I say, "Excuse me." <laughs> oh, hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> you don't seem well. Uh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? That's all right. Uh, I don't recognize you. Uh, you're not from here, are you? I come here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question for you. Do you happen to know anything about the Shardana? <laughs> <laughs> Do I? When you say Shardana, he looks at you and just like, Oh, don't follow him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I'll I'll, I'll follow. Him. I'll, t- I'll like turn around and I look at these guys and I'll kind of like give it like a like a head nod, like that I'm following this guy. Okay. So yeah, I will follow uh, quietly. He, uh, he sees that you guys are following, and he'll be like, "Be quiet, be stealthy, don't don't be seen." Oh, the drow says it. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. then I will not be seen. <laughs> Hey, can everyone just roll a stealth check, please? And they just say initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's, All right, that's a nat 15. Plus 2, so that's 17. I rolled a 16. That's a 2 for me, bud. 14. 14. Uh, 11. Elendal and Ryan, you're being kind of noisy and uh, clink, after clink, about clink, clink. five minutes of walking, you guys are seen. Well, I mean, it's okay if uh, Alendale's seen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so y- you're fine. Uh, <laughs> right. He, he kind of noticed that people are, well, a couple of the drow around and deep gnomes and stuff like that are kind of talking to each other and looking at you and pointing at you. Okay, I ignore it and I act like I have every confidence in the world to be there. Okay, uh, just roll reception. I'm a dirger, I just look different. He just, like, pops out his chest a little bit more and walks with a little bit of a rolled 14, but I have minus one, so that's a cool 13. Uh, so you do... You are able to deceive some of these. There are two. One is a devil-looking folk, and then there's another, uh, dirger that are still looking at you. And are just keeping an eye on you, but that's real. So this man leads you to a kind of, to a somewhat nice looking building. You assume it would be his home. And he says, follow me. Come in, come in, come in, quick, quick, before you see him. Um, as we, as I go and walk in, uh, behind him, uh, I have my hand, like, kind of like in through my cloak. Uh, and my hand, like, my hand is on the handle of my longs. Um, okay. Just kind of, like, at, at the ready, just in case there's anything in there that... He'll say, after you guys come in, he says, My name is Sm- Smokey. Smokey Dark, so- Dark Sky. None of you guys are from around here or from the depths, I assume, right? No, I'm just from around the corner. 
<laughs> we're actually dangerous. <laughs> what does it matter? Uh, folk like you are welcome here. You're welcome here in this building, but n- not really anywhere else in town. We'll keep that in mind. Do you have an answer to our question? Yeah, uh, I've heard rumors of the Shardana keeping prisoners far to the, uh, to the west of this town and then further down a bunch of other passages after that. Do you have any form of map or guidance? He'll show you a map of the town, which doesn't actually have building names or anything on it, but you guys would be probably around he- uh, here. But he has no map of the depths itself, or no. any way for us to get to where he's telling us. No. Okay, uh, why do you let us in when no one else will? Because I'm not really one of them here. You're from the surface? I am, yeah. I'm from Eol, and I came here to try to save you. There's some prisoners in a prison here, and... Some slaves as well, and other bad things have happened to people down here. Every once in a while, a demon or something like that will go to the service, kidnap someone, and just the rest isn't good to know. An honorable, uh, lifestyle. Not many people, uh, and I turn to Varon, have the balls <laughs> to come to the depths. <laughs> and I, I wink, yeah, but, uh, yeah. How but, is that working out for you? I say people every once in a while, but it's very few and not very often. It's hard to get people out of here. Seems like a dangerous place. It is. As you've seen, there are devils and demons of different kinds here. Are there any others like you we could help or ask for help? Thanks about this, and he says, no, I'm the only one from the surface here. The rest are all pretty much evildoers. Mm, okay. But, uh, he gave us directions, right? Yeah. To find the Shardana. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for the assist. Uh, since you've got really no map, I mean, and it's yeah. probably dangerous to stay here, we should probably be right on our way. Yeah, I can smuggle you guys out. Wow, this guy's dope. I can smuggle us out. Yeah. Okay. I've got a wagon I can put you guys in and just, like, Hide you under it, and then I'll get you out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Probably best to do that. The less chance of starting a fight on our way out, the better. Let's do it. Burn it, out. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Um. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Um. Yeah. Just beware, once you're out of town, that's not the end of it. There are. Demon folk everywhere, devils everywhere, and there's a cavern to the to the underworld here, a bit further on too, and good things aren't happening there. Well, we're usually pretty capable, I depending on the challenge. everyone's mood. So, put in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're all <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> Blaze isn't no. Okay, whatever. But, uh, but he says, like, he turns to everyone, he says, let's just go. Uh, we've wasted enough time already. Tough. Okay, uh, he'll lead you to, to a wagon he has just behind his house, and we'll tell you guys to get in, and he'll just, like, put a cover and some other stuff on top of you guys. Can I sit with him in the front? Or am I, like, a little still too outcasty? Uh, you are somewhat outcasty, but you could probably get through with it. Let's not take any risks. Yeah. Alright. I'll just get in the back then. Okay, I just figured then I don't know. I'll be at the ready. Easy. But... No, it was a good idea. It was just probably better not to, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, if we get in any situations where I have to use charisma, um, if I had to put a number to that, it'd be a negative two. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's probably better that way. All anyway. the, all of all of us to be revenant. <laughs> yeah. right. At this point in time, yeah. So yeah, I'll just chill in the back then. Okay. Yeah, everyone's getting into the cart? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he'll then have a couple of horses pull the wagon, and he'll take you through town to the... Uh, Western Passage, he'll, like, go over the river that flows through. You don't see it because you're undercover, but you do hear the 
noise of the river flowing through the town. And then you get to the west side of the city and you guys are able to leave the city and go around a few bends and he'll uncover you and tell you guys that this will be where he'll leave you guys. I'll shake his hand and ask him his name. He says, again, my name is Smokey Dark Sky. I fuck Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pretend I didn't ask for his name. I'll just shake his hand and be like, uh, thanks. Uh, didn't really expect to run into a nice guy down here, so I appreciate the, the help. No, thank you. Thanks for uh, trying to do something about the Shardana. I've heard bad things. Yeah, it's not looking so good up top. Better down here. <laughs> If you guys ever want to help out again, then come here and we can try to rescue some more people from like the prisons and stuff like that. Wow, how fortuitous that this was the first guy we talked to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just walk up to him and I'm just like, yeah, you heard of the shark? And he's like, yeah! Like, <laughs> Sweet, I actually lead an underground guerrilla war. I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, no, well, let's, uh, let's just carry on our way with some... Be yeah, he'll have video do you and good done. luck. Can we get inspiration dice for Blaze's little ditty? Don't you cry no more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, carry on. Yeah. Uh, you go through this passageway and you get into another large alcove. And there's uh, two passageways going from this alcove. One going to the south and again one going to the west. Uh, you don't hear any strange noises from either of them. Which way will he go? Oh, he said to go west. West. So, west. Okay. Right? Yeah, uh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll go. That's probably, probably is best. West is best. Okay. Did any of yeah. us, like, incite that guy to see if he's actually being no. nice? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, well... We just followed, <laughs> just followed this guy into wow. his house, threw us in a car, covered his leg, <laughs> drove off, and then dipped us in. Oh, you wake up in the back of a car. Yeah, I guess we'll just listen to what he says and go west, I don't know. Yeah, so you go down to the west passageway and it curves going north, and... Along this passageway, there, as you continue on, there are multiple other rooms and hallways that branch off. So there are two to the uh, left side of the cavern, west side of the passage that you see pre immediately, and then there are two further up as you go through through the through the passage. I'd say we just keep going forwards. I mean, yeah, I might as well. Uh. I mean, unless there's anything that alerts our attention to go in any other direction. Uh, you don't hear anything from the first two passages on the left, but then you do hear the, you do hear like kind of high pitched noises coming from the next passageway. Can I recognize the sounds of them? Uh, roll an insight check. Yeah. I rolled a nine, uh, eleven. Uh, you're not entirely sure what this might be. No? Okay. 17. Uh, four. Uh, so, uh, Lazarus, you believe that you hear imps coming from this direction? There's some small devil people up ahead. <laughs> cool! Probably best we don't go towards the small devil people. I think we should. I think we could take on a few small devil people. <laughs> Yeah, but see, the thing there is, there's this thing called an option now where we can choose not to. So let's choose not to attack those small devil people and just keep going down the safe route that is quiet. Yeah. <laughs> there is no safe route. I know, but safe uh, route is the one without the small devil people. I really, I really agree. Devils don't deserve to live. And we really have nothing to go off of. Maybe they can give us some information. Uh, Smokey just told us that the, everyone else here is going to try and kill us. That's why we kill them first. But you want to get information. You're not going to get information if you kill them. Well, obviously we don't kill all of them. <laughs> There's this thing called interrogation. Okay. Uh, Let's just go the way Smokey told us. Yeah, I'm, I'm with 
Alien on this one, you guys. This seems like a fruitless endeavor to go up towards those All right. imps. Whatever. Ryan has no just, feelings about one way or another. Where's fair and say? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm all right if we just stay away from the imps. Ah, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's keep going on then. Okay. I begrudgingly follow. <laughs> well, I'm I'm actually a hundred percent certain that we'll find some devils for you to kill. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, so you continue on, and you don't hear anything from the next passageway. And uh, you guys make it to a... Uh, what you see is another opening to a new area. Uh, as you look in, it seems to be a large alcove with a, a small lake in the middle of it. And in the lake, there's a small island. Uh, you see stalagmites and stalactites everywhere, and do a, a perception check, please. I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> that's a nat 18 that's plus a 2. Twenty. Insight? Perception. perception. Oh, perception. Fuck. 16. I rolled a, a, a eight. Sweet. Okay, so everyone except for Blaze sees a uh, dead body of a random person on mm-hmm. one of the slag mics. Or slag mics. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, just mics. impaled yeah. on the, on the slag mic. On the r- r- rocky outcrop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll approach the body, I guess. Hey. Is it like a big open area where somebody could see me approach it, or? No, it's, it's not too big. No. While he's doing that, I'm gonna crouch down and examine the water. I kind of want to discern if it's either drinkable or. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fall, Ryan. But I'm gonna have my hand on my sword. It's hey. You guys huh? were investigating the body. Bet you it's gonna right. come alive. Uh, on the body, you find a note scribbled like really quickly. It said, "We, they are the Shardana. We were taken to a prison camp. Help!" And like the body seems to really crash, like probably dead, like a day or two ago. Hmm. What kind of uh, race? Uh, it was a half elf. Oh. That's why they killed him. <laughs> now that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wasn't pure. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did this just turn into the Holocaust? Really? <laughs> uh, We're going to have to scrap this episode. <laughs> um, uh, so you were investing in the water? Yeah. Uh, you believe that it's fresh water, so it could be drank, probably, but it might be polluted by something. Uh, I'll, I'll take. I'll fill up a, a canteen either way. Okay. And I'll, I'll put it in my bag. Okay. Can we really see what's on the island without going over to it? Uh, roll a perception check. Are you gonna Dirty 20. No. <laughs> uh, you see in the center of this island, there's a glittering red rock jutting out of the island, and it seems large. Like, you can see it from where you are right now. You have a plus 10 in perception? I took a 17. And do you believe you see... You think you might be able to see a skeleton on this island as well. Jutting red rock and a skeleton. I'm intrigued. (laughs) (laughs) Now you got my attention. (laughs) I'll go over to it. Okay. Uh, So you'll have to swim through the water together, just so I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. (sighs) I probably literally can't do that. Uh, just roll a perception check and you're swimming, swimming. How far away is the island? Distance wise? It would be a hundred feet away. Oh, okay. That's a five. Everything else is all good. Everything's all good. <laughs> Where everything appears to be all good to you. That thing tickling your foot, it's nothing. <laughs> uh, you get about halfway and then... Algae. <laughs> you think you see something in the water. When you look closer, it's Chukwotoa. With spears in their hands. Kotoa. Oh, yeah. Out of my land. Fucking frogs. No, that's bullywogs. Kotoa are the fish people. Fucking yeah. fish. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm. Uh, I ready my crossbow. <laughs> I mean, would they notice the Well, fish? I just readied it when you got in the water. Okay. Yeah. As soon as I see them, I'll... I'm like halfway towards the island, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming they notice me. I'll swim as fast as I can towards the island. 
Okay. Uh, would we see something wrong? Because you kind of you see him start to panic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm scared of water too. Just sl- easy, smooth strokes. Fish people. <laughs> <laughs> You should have called them fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> really, I kind of saw this one coming, not gonna lie. Uh, uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. I got this shit. <laughs> no, I don't. That's a seven. Uh, you're hit by first one spear. And take five damage. And then you're hit by another and take six damage. You're literally gonna die. We did not rest. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm totally fine. <laughs> um, so how far in the water are they? Do I my crossbow can reach eighty feet or three hundred and twenty feet? Yeah, uh, they would be probably seventy feet away. Okay, well, uh, Elrondal would Lazarus <laughs> would probably be about eighty feet away by now. Okay, yeah, and it's hundred feet away. I'll take aim. And shoot. Okay. <laughs> At the fish people. Uh, so I am proficient. So I get my plus six. Sixteen. Yeah, you hit one. I hit one? Yeah. Okay. So that does... Kind of fish. Uh, 1d8. Now this is fishy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you fucking kidding me. One damage. <laughs> yeah, you just hit it with an arrow and the arrow six and it doesn't really stop it anymore. Mm-hmm. One damage. So yeah, like, yeah, you add your. Were they attacking from under the water? Or did would I add that to a crossbow? Modifier, yeah. 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 modifier. Okay. okay, well then I did five. Because if damage. it went into the water, I don't know how far the arrow would go. Okay, uh, don't break physics in. <laughs> I'm just no. I'm just mentioning it. Like I'm just curious if they were above. He was just like barely able. to Okay. Finish. Yeah. All right. I, I do five. Then. Okay. Because I I didn't think I added it to that. So. Uh, you made it to the island. Okay. This seems I stepped my foot and on land. And you see about five Kotoa behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... Ch- <laughs> mm. Yo, you're gonna die, man. <laughs> wow. He's gonna do that skeleton. <laughs> Can I, uh... Drink two health potions with one action? What? Double no. fist it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you could double fist it, yeah. Because <laughs> I chug both my health potions. Okay. Good roll. Nine, add four is thirteen. Add another four is seven. I'm not going to die next time. Uh, can I shoot one of them with my longbow? Yeah, no. sure. Uh, you can try. Is there anything we could actually do? No, he's pretty alone there. Yeah, like, we could I mean, try to swim out, but, like... How does range on a weapon work exactly? Because mine says 80, and then slash 320. Disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm officially in disadvantage range with my range weapon. So, it's over 80 feet away. How long does your longbow have? Uh, well, what is it normally? 120, 600. 150 or 600. So, you yeah. wouldn't... 150, but I also have plus 30 feet, because it's a metal longbow. Okay, well, then you're definitely within range to yeah. not have disadvantage. Six stuff. So I'm gonna sh- uh, ten, ten, uh, twelve. That misses. Okay. Well, well it was nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do, Lazarus? Oh boy. I draw my two long swords, and I yell out, "Face me!" <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible decision! <laughs> I'm not going to go out without a fight. I can't just swim another hundred feet back. You, you should try to talk your way out of this. Maybe they'll just take you prisoner. Uh, two of them jump up on land. And then they say, we're not taking prisoners. <laughs> yeah. And they'll attack you with spears. One misses. Snap 20. Wow. Well, it's nice to 20 episodes in. We've got a whole uh, new character. You take 12 damage. <laughs> Rookie numbers, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know how he's going to get out of this. He's so outnumbered. He's so far away. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Is there any way we can get there quickly? Like, you can use ranged attacks. This would most likely be disadvantage. But is there any way we can get to the island Besides quickly? Besides swimming, no. How long would it? But that's the only thing is we face disadvantage too because if we swim out there, like they're gonna just turn around and throw spears at us trying to swim there. Yeah. Like some of them would probably. So, 
I'm like right on the edge of the island, right? Yeah. Um, and like they're all like in the water, five, ten feet away from me. Yep. Yeah. I am going to face step thirty feet out into the water and try to swim back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as he does that, I'll fire another crossbow bolt. Him. But I have disadvantage. And you're able to do some, another thing with your face step too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just a bonus action, so. Yeah. Well, your face up has a bonus thing it does too. So yeah, but it's it's an explosion five feet around me that's fire oh, damage. Oh, okay. That's but it. Is that just a bonus action to cast it? Yeah. So it would make your action a dash action and push it. Yeah, what would my swim speed be? Uh, I believe normal swim speed is 15 or 20. Yeah, I think 15. Okay, so I'd go an extra 30 feet swimming as fast as I can. Okay, so you're 60 feet away, they're probably around 30 feet away from you now. Uh, I'll just say, I'll say you're just able to barely escape the water before they come onto land, and now that they see there are five of you, uh, they kind of swim back to the water. They don't want to 1v1 us? us? Yeah. Okay. Nice, they must look pretty scary. <laughs> Uh, I'll turn to uh, Lazarus and be like, I feel like we've all learned a lesson here. Uh, don't swim into murky waters towards an island in the depths alone. They're running away scared. They don't want to face me. You, al- <laughs> <laughs> you almost died, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Do uh, so- you need healing? Yes. <laughs> okay, I can cast Cure Wounds, second level. I feel about 12% of my normal self. Wow. You get 12 hit points. 13. I can't. I can't math. <laughs> so let's just count our lucky stars. They ran away. So that is where we leave off on this episode of Nashville. <laughs> Thanks. Oof.